Hey everybody, if you have worked with a 59 Pontiac and you put these top, you know, the rear quarter crown molding pieces, took them off and then went to put them back on, I don't know about you, but I've done it a few times now and the clips are always totally rusted, gone, you can't use them again. And I went on uh, eBay and they were selling them for like, maybe I'm wrong, but I could have sworn it was, was shipping and handling, you're paying like 10 bucks per piece and to me when I count what I've got here it's about 40 of them total 40 times 10 comes out to me to be about $400 maybe I'm right maybe I'm wrong but I made my own and I've done it before and it worked and I'm going to show you what I do so just check this out first thing off I made the left rear quarter and the right rear quarter and I numbered them so that they'd be in the right order when I lined them up on these rods because these little tabs that are going to slip through the slip through the slots have to be cut so that they'll go through and some of those slots are wider than others and that way when you go putting them in they you know will all go through like they're supposed to and then I put little cuts in them right in here so that once it's through you go in through the trunk and whatnot and you twist them you give them a twist I also put a little glue on them as they're being inserted in so it's kind of a glue and twist job you might say and I'll show you what I'm doing here, okay? Okay, that's what we actually have in here is a little T that I made. Then I take that little T and I put it on this, just this flimsy metal. You can buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's. And then I draw that. Ballpoint pen works okay. And then you got this T, and then you just, I cut it out, and I bring it up a little bit, because you got to have it so when you curl this up, you got some spacing in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See that? Then you cut it across. Same here. It's, it is a bit time consuming, but I got the time if you've got the beer. Then you just cut it off, right? Then I give it a little clip in there. That's a little too much. If I go too much, then the next side I do less. It's to help it twist when you got it in there. Then, I take this like so, the pliers, and I hold it in there. Well, prior to doing this part, I would go over to the car and... Alright, I'd get over to the car and I'd see if it will fit. And you see it won't fit in that slot. So, with that, I give it a little trim. See that now she fits okay with that fitting in there like that now I can take this and pull it up and you that's what you end up with all right now you got to determine do you want it this way or that way and the way you determine it is you put, what I did is I put one on and then I took it over the car and saw if, if it was going to line up correct. So when you tighten it down, the chrome itself wouldn't be cockeyed the wrong way. And that's why you see them all that way. So then you got that little slot here that lets you enter and you try to put it in. Oh, see this is too wide. So if it's too wide... I just get my snips and I give it a little 
run down and now let's see if she fits see that presto now these here when I did clean them up the stuff that was in them was rusted in and I used WD-40 this and a little flat tip screwdriver to work out the rust so that these things could then go in and slide back and forth and if you get one that after it's cut it it's like maybe too loose believe it or not I'd use a little bit of masking tape and I just build it around it to fatten it up you might say because once they're on you know it ain't going nowhere and I only had to do that like on two two or three of them out of you know approximately well I got 21 19 40 40 of these clips I made and I hope this helps somebody out the same on the side now I won't I don't have those clips I'll make I make my own it's cheaper and a lot cheaper if you got a lot of money well what the heck you know but that's what I do and I hope that helps somebody out everybody have a great one